Ladies, 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 I'm here on the shield. That's my final video of the night. I want to talk about some NFL news. Uh, let's get right into it. So first three uh, things we're going to talk about, Dan Snyder, the commander's owner. Uh, there's some important words from the hashtag Colts owner, Jim Ursay, on hashtag commander's owner, Daniel Snyder. Quote, I believe there is merit to removing him. As owners, people wanted him removed from owner. The, the owners got to vote him out. And I, I think it could happen very soon. We'll see what happens. Um, asked if there are 24 votes and another quote, I think potentially there will be. And I, and I do too. I think there potentially will be 24 votes to vote him out as the owner. And now the commanders have, they, just, they need a new owner. Dan Snyder, with all the stuff going on around, around him, it's just not a good look for the franchise, in my opinion. It's not a good look for the franchise. The owners need to vote him out, and they need a new owner, at least from what I, what I think. And the last quote, I believe owners have been painted incorrectly, dot, 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 dot. Some of the things I've heard doesn't represent all, us all. So some of the things he's heard doesn't represent, like, all the owners, basically. So I'm guessing he probably thinks, um, he'll probably vote Dan Snyder and a bunch of the other owners probably will. Um, um, after his heroics last night, hashtag Chargers kicker Dustin Hopkins will likely be out this, likely be out this week because of his hamstring injury, source said. But it's not considered a long-term injury, so it's basically not considered a long-term injury here for Mr. Um, Dustin Hopkins. But he'll likely be out just for maybe probably a week or two most likely. But he, he's tough as hell finished that came kicking last night with the hamstring. So it could have, could have been an even worse injury than what it was. Because he could have tore it. So luckily he's okay and got the big win last night against the Broncos. I just done a recap for the Monday Night Football game about a few minutes ago. So you haven't watched that video, go watch that. The hashtag Ravens are signing veteran free agent wide receiver Deshaun Jackson after his workout today. So uh, they had a workout with Deshaun Jackson, and the Ravens have now signed him. So be interesting to see uh, how Deshaun Jackson does for the Baltimore Ravens and Lamar Jackson with that team. So we'll see what happens. Could be an interesting uh, pickup for uh, Baltimore. Um, the hashtag Broncos QB Russell Wilson is getting an MRI on his hamstring today. Could be a fairly, fairly significant tear. Um, so then we got the follow-up after the MRI. Russell Wilson is day-to-day -day source saying. That's a re it's a real injury, and he's in real pain. So people probably think, oh, he's faking the injury because of how poor he's playing, but why get an MRI if it's just an injury you're faking? Um, and, it, and it gets confirmed by the MRI. Just Twitter doctors. But he's pushing to put, pushing to play against the Jets, Sonny, which I don't know why, if you have a back, uh, hamstring injury. Because you're probably going to hurt it again. The hashtag Broncos will monitor, will continue to about, will continue to evaluate his progress on a short week. So it's a short week to play Monday to go to a game Sunday against the uh, Jets. After two COVID impacted years, the NFL exec Peter, Peter O'Reilly says the expectation is Super Bowl week will be back to normal in February in Arizona. Teams arrive Sunday and Monday, Sunday, Monday. Super Bowl opening now on Monday, and then you got your daily media session. So after the two impacted COVID years, they're uh, basically going to be going back to normal for the Super Bowl, having like the daily media sessions after teams arrive Sunday, Monday, and they'll have the opening night, and then basically regular media sessions with coaches and players. So good to see Super Bowls back to normal. Broncos linebacker Aaron Patrick, who grabbed his knee after this awkward collision Monday night, suffered a torn ACL and is out for the season per source. Broncos are already missing a lot of players, and they're losing another player this time for the season, so it's not looking good for Denver. A hashtag Bucks stand out defensive back. Logan Ryan is scheduled for Sunday tomorrow, or sur for surgery tomorrow, to repair a Jones fracture in his foot with Dr. Martin O'Malley. Performance sources say he's headed for injured reserve with plans to be back late in the season. In the playoffs, so he, ha he plans to return late in the season. In the playoffs, um, he's played decent for the Bucks. Uh, the NFL and Amazon announced that in 2023, Prime Video will exclusively stream a Black Friday game. That The Friday after Thanksgiving, the first ever NFL Black Friday, will take place on November, November 24, 2023, with an expected kickoff at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Teams are to, are to be determined, so hopefully we get a good matchup here for November 24, 2023 on Friday with the 
Black Friday game, if you got, if you want to have a the first Black Friday game, you gotta have a big matchup. So we'll see what happens. Uh, the Cardinals have signed former Colts kicker Rodrigo Blankenship. Uh, they cost the Colts some games. They released him. The Cardinals picked him up. So we'll see how it goes. Commanders coach Ron Rivera just announced QB Taylor Heineke will start versus the Hashtag Packers. Obviously, after Carson Wentz got his surgery, Randall Cobb, an update, he's only going to be up two to four weeks with the ankle sprain, so it's not as bad as initially thought. And Carson Wentz had successful surgery on his, um, uh, hand. So, some good news there for Mr. Wentz. But, yeah, um, if I have to say for this, um, NFL video, so until next time, I have to like, peace.